Hello Capricorns and cross watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in to view the video. So let's get started here. If you like the reading, please remember to like and subscribe, okay? What do we have for Capricorn May 27th? The week of May 27th to June 2nd. Capricorn May 27th to June 2nd. What do we have for Capricorn May 27th to June 2nd? My message is for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. So the overall message that we have here, the overall energy of the deck is going to be the Page of Pentacles, okay? So we could be, uh, this You know, could be you because this is an earth sign. Um, this could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, you know, I like this card because it kind of represents a young kid who's broke, you know, not really dressed up. He's actually the only page of, uh, of all the, the, the pages that um, is dressed down, but he's staring at the coin. So obviously Capricorn, um, you know, you have a vision for yourself. You're really focused on your future. Okay, that's the, the overall energy of the reading here. Now, here we have the Six of Cups, and it is clarified by the Nine of Cups. Okay, so the Six of Cups is a beautiful card. Um, you know, Cups in general is a water sign, so we could be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Pisces, or um, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? And overall, this means, um, you know, either... An X might be coming into the picture, but overall, I kind of feel like this is a, a positive uh, card for you. Money might be coming in, okay? Um, the cups does represent relationships and emotions, okay? So we do have a Virgo here, all right? Um, the Nine of Pentacles. She's a very financially stable person, um, very uh, independent Okay, so maybe your person is very uh, independent or maybe being that this is an ex, maybe we do have an ex coming back in. I don't see, oh, I do see a three of cups. So maybe a possible third party situation. I don't know, we'll see here, okay? So um, we do have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, visiting family possibly or an ex coming back, definite money coming in though, okay? Money coming in or, you know, you helping out a friend or family member. Now here we have the Two of Cups, okay? The Two of Cups, which is a, a beautiful card. This represents a partnerships, reconciliation, okay? So maybe we have a reconciliation with an ex happening here, okay? Um, deeper commitment, moving in together, and that is clarified by the Nine of Wands, okay? So the Nine of Wands, this is interesting. So this is, coming, you know, the Wands represent communication, travel, um, and, you know, if you see here, he built this fence, okay? He built something, and, and he's protecting it, okay? So I don't know, Capricorn, if um, maybe, you know, there's going to be a, an ex coming back, and you want to protect yourself from this ex, or if you're going to reconcile, okay, and you want to protect the partnership, I mean, we'll see now, okay, so there could be a couple different uh, ways that this can go, and again, this can be vice versa, okay, so here we have you standing here, okay, you or your person standing here, they're, they're created this whole, you know, arc here, beautiful work and stuff, and we have people that are looking at him and praising him, but there can be some jealousy here, um, I feel like there might be some type of jealousy happening here, especially since, we have the page of swords clarifying it so this means that you're going to get a message in capricorn of uh, conflict okay i feel like someone's going to be jealous maybe jealous of this ex maybe jealous of this person that's coming in or you're going to be jealous of someone's ex okay um so we definitely have a message coming in with a little bit of conflict okay so here we have the um six of wands 
okay again wands is travel and communication so we're gonna get some good news coming in here though because this guy is sitting on this horse okay it looks like he just you know overcame something you know came back from war a fight or whatnot and um you know people are celebrating him okay so again you know we might have some conflict a message of conflict some jealousy coming in but you're gonna overcome it you're gonna come out on, come out on top and then we have the three of cups that is, um, you know, clarifying that. So although this can be a third party situation, I feel like in this case, it might be, you know, celebration, okay, that you know, you might you may have an ex coming back into your life, or your your person may have an ex coming back into their life. But it seems to me like you guys are going to overcome it. Okay, because I mean, I do have some, uh, you know, maybe lies or secrets that are coming into play, a little bit of conflict coming out with the Page of Swords, okay? But with these two cards, it kind of tells me that, you know, you guys might get through it, okay? You guys, you guys might get through it. But let's see, we're going to clarify these cards and see what's going on, all right? So now... The Six of uh, Cups here is clarified with the Hierophant, which is unity. It's marriage, okay? So again, um, you know, this does represent an ex coming back. So maybe this could be an ex-wife or an ex-husband coming back into the picture, okay? Um, I, you know, I mean, we do have the Three of Cups here. So let's see. So here we have uh, the Two of Cups, and clarifying the Two of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So this is a wish fulfillment. So I don't know, Capricorn, have you been thinking about this ex? Have you wanted this ex to come back to you? Is this something that's going to be reconciled? Because, um, you know, this is a reconciliation card, you know? So maybe you and this ex or your person is going to have an ex coming back in. Maybe, you know, maybe reconciliation is in the cards here. Okay, after a little bit of disagreement, after a little bit of arguing, um, you know, it looks like with this person that's coming in, it looks like there's going to be um, a lot of success. I mean, this is a wish fulfillment card. You know, this is something that, you know, I don't know. Again, here, the energy of the deck is that, you know, you've been kind of manifesting something. You've been thinking about something. You've been wanting something to take place. You're getting your wish, Capricorn. So, um, again, you know, I mean, this can be you or your partner, but whatever's going on, um, you're definitely manifested into, into it actually happening. So again, the three of pentacles here, okay, is, um, clarified by the ace of cups, okay, by the ace of cups. Now, again, this is being, um, you know, rewarded. For, for doing something good. And again, it could also be jealousy because we all know that when we're successful, you know, people do get jealous, okay? Now, cups, again, is a water sign. So uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, energy, okay? And this is a new beginning, okay? This is a new beginning. So here we have third-party situation, you know, reconciliation, new beginnings. We've got marriage. So you know, I, I have to say, I mean, I, this might be a third party situation. I don't know if it's on your end or your person's end, but um, that's what it's looking like here. So, yeah, I, I really do think it is a third party. Okay, so we have the, um, the six of, of wands here is being clarified. By the Ten of Swords, by the Ten of Swords, Capricorn. So, I mean, although this card, uh, you know, it looks really bad. Um, it does signify ruin. It does signify separation that something is going to come to an end. But if we look at his hand there, you see the sign of a blessing, which means that after something ends, after something ends that, um, you know, your, your blessings are going to come in. This is something coming out of your life so that, you know, uh, blessings can be bestowed upon you. Okay. And that's the good news that's coming to you. Okay. Um, so I don't know, you know, if you're in, currently in a situation where an ex might be coming back into play, or maybe you feel like your partner, you know, that's where the jealousy, maybe you're sending out a message to your partner saying, you know, what's going on? This ex is here. Now you're acting a little weird. Um, it could be you or them, uh, Capricorn. So to uh, clarify the um, Knight of uh, the the I'm sorry the Nine of Pentacles here, which this is Virgo energy. Okay, we have the King of Cups, which again is water energy. Okay, 
water energy. Now, um, the King of Cups is a person who is deeply emotional, deeply emotional, okay? So emotional that they might even appear distant that because they can't control their emotions. So this is a, a very emotional person. So I don't know if this is you right now, Capricorn, or if this is, you know, your person, but, um, you know, they may be getting very emotional here. That There might be some jealousy happening because I have conflict and I have jealousy. So either you or your partner, you know, are getting attention from somebody they're not supposed to be getting attention from. And it may be causing a little bit of conflict, Capricorn. Okay. Now, here we have the Nine of Swords being clarified by the Fool. Okay. So, you know, who whether it's you or your person, you know, this ex might be coming back. Okay, and you may feel a little protective of the relationship that you're currently in. Like, I don't want to let you in because I don't know if I should trust you. Um, but this is new beginnings and taking risks. You see this fool, he's about to go off of this cliff and the dog here is trying to warn him. And um, But ultimately, you know, it is a new beginning. Okay, it is taking risks. And it does say here that if you take that risk, your wish is going to come through, come true. I mean, whatever you have been thinking about Capricorn, um, it's going to happen. Okay, now here we have the Page of Swords. We clarifying the Page of Swords is the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups. So we have um, uh, either Aquarius or Pisces coming towards you, okay, with a big cup of love. So someone is coming towards you, Capricorn. Um, so I'm getting a feeling that this might be your ex, possibly. Okay, they're they're coming towards you. Um, you know, and, and I feel like the reason why this is uh, clarifying the page of swords is because this conflict is going to be the secret that this is the, the it's, it's exposing it. OK, the secret and conflict here is going to be because of this night that's coming in and offering you this love. Um, your your person is very jealous. Your person is seeing that this is a problem. OK, Capricorn. Um, so. Let's see here. Now, to clarify the... What did I say that you were manifesting? Okay. So, to clarify the Three of Cups, you have the Magician showing that you were manifesting this Capricorn. You've been thinking about this person. Okay. Again, this can be reversed. Okay. But I really... The energy is strong here, Capricorn, that you are thinking about this person. Okay. And you manifested this. You manifested this person back into your life. Okay. Uh, underneath your underneath your uh, energy card here, the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Now, Swords can is is an air sign. So, an air sign can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Okay. Um, now, this is a very strategic person very strategic person, a person that wants to take action. They go after what they want. They do not play. Okay. So if your person, if you're, if this third party really wants you, they're going to come towards you. Okay. Maybe slowly, because that's not a, a, a horse that's charging forward. Maybe slowly, because you might be a little bit guarded right now, Capricorn. But ultimately, I really do think that you're going to reconcile and that you're going to get your wish fulfillment, okay? And that whatever you have been manifesting, as a matter of fact, here under this card, we have the chariot, which means move forward, which coincides with the fool, okay? Take that risk and move forward. And here we have the world. We have the world, which means something is going to end and something new is going to be. It's, it's success after completion, okay? Again, success after completion. This is something that's going to end and something new is going to begin, Capricorn, okay? And again, you know, this is this is your wish fulfillment. This is what you wanted, okay? Let's see what, what the angels have to say. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? May 27th. To June 2nd, 2019. A message for Capricorn. May 27th to two, to June 2nd, 2019. Goodness, I can't talk. May 27th to June 2nd. May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. Okay. Ground yourself. 
the underlining energy of your uh, angel reading here is going to be joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. You see, with the, with the, 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 the thoughts that you had of this person, of reconciling with this person manifested, and it's going to bring you joy because there's a lot of you know, love here. There's a lot of love here. This is a love card. This is deep commitment, engagement, marriage. This is real. You have marriage here with this person. You have wish fulfillment with this person, Capricorn, okay? The card that came out for you is ground yourself. Ground yourself. What it says here is when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling and earthly life. Okay, well, Capricorn, we do know that you love to work. Okay, so um, this is telling you that you're going to be balancing out your finances, you're going to balance out your finances and your love life, that everything's going to balance out for you. Okay, and um, I mean, we do have some pentacles here, which is you know, um, money. I, I really think that this is, I feel it very strongly that this is a third party situation, something's going to end, Capricorn, and um. And the love of your life is going to come in. This person, this third party person is the love of your life. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the reading and um, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you back here soon. Have a great day.